Tonight, we know fewer people are getting vaccinated right here in Georgia. So now the Atlanta-based CDC is giving away a half a million dollar grant to target certain communities. Here are the numbers that show why we are talking about this tonight. The state says only 33% of black people have gotten at least one dose. It's slightly lower for Hispanics. Both rates are a full 10 percentage point lower than the state average of 43%. Now, messaging to minority communities has been a challenge and affects all communities, really. Last November, I went to Clarkston myself, which is in DeKalb. That city calls itself, quote, the most diverse square mile in America. The population speaks like 90 languages. But since the state's COVID news was delivered mostly in English, many people missed out on what they had to do. So now the CDC gave Georgia State University $500,000 in a grant specifically marked for increasing vaccinations in Clarkston. I spoke with Dr. Michael Erickson with Georgia State on exactly how that money's going to be used. Professor Erickson, I'm glad you came on because I want to talk about this grant that's coming that's targeting certain communities. Why is this important? Because, I mean, people getting vaccinated affects all communities. Well, it particularly affects those communities that have currently low rates of vaccination, like the refugee community and the African-American community in Clarkston. So we're really focused on those communities that uh, are lower than average. And Dr. Erickson, getting these communities vaccinated, or at least getting them the information for them to make their own decisions, affects everyone. Where's this money coming from? I know the CDC, but how long is this going to work? The, we have a half a million dollar grant from CDC for a year. And it's really urgent that we get started. We're actually distributed uh, job announcements today. We're going to hire six uh, community members from the major uh, nationalities in Clarkson, the Somalis, the Burmese, the Congolese, the Afghans, Middle Easterns, as well as the African-American community, and hire individuals to serve as trusted messengers to go out and talk to their community and answer their questions and concerns about the vaccine. And you said it's about trusted members of the community distributing proper and correct information. Dr. Michael Erickson, professor at the School of Public Health for GSU, thank you. Thank you, George. An ABC News poll released in the last week shows 74 percent or three out of every four people surveyed who are unvaccinated say they most likely will not get the shot. 24 percent say likely they will get it. In the study, 73 percent say U.S. officials are exaggerating the risk of the Delta variant, which the CDC says now accounts for almost half of the cases of COVID out there.